Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghuvir. In this class, we'll discuss about a substitution byte in AES. The second way. In our last class, we clearly discussed the first way using the table. We provide some table. You based on the table, we are going to do substitution. Each byte, take each byte and do the substitution. Similarly, this is the second way using GF of 2 power 8 polynomial. So what's this polynomial and how we are going to do GF of 2 power 8 multiplication and addition? What's the inverse elements? How we find the inverse elements? These things discussed in our previous classes. Hoping you already know GF of 2 power 8 addition and multiplication. The explanation is provided here. Please watch our previous classes and come back here. The link for the playlist is provided in the description below. So coming to today's class, in the GF of 2 power 8, we are going to use this is the irreducible polynomial, means prime polynomial which we are going to use this. In order to do the division operation, this is what we are going to use. So now try to understand how little bit uh, confusing it will be, concentrate a bit much here in this class if you don't understand try to understand it watch it multiple times and try to understand it now coming to this so first we will understand the procedure then with with example we are going to understand the how we apply the procedure see this is the state in each state we are having 16 bytes take the first byte do the process obtain the substitution byte byte transformation we are doing so that's why take the second byte apply the process and you are going to get the second byte transformation substitution byte take the third byte like that you have to take the 16 bytes apply the process you are going to get the 16 bytes this is the cipher text which you are going to get after converting after doing the substitution byte using gf of 2 power 8 so what's inside this let's try to understand you take the first byte you have to find the inverse of that byte byte means 8 bits that's why finding inverse using this irreducible polynomial how to find the inverse given irreducible polynomial and the input using euclidean algorithm method which we already done in our previous classes so now we are going to identify the inverse that inverse byte is converted to matrix form see you you got a byte here b0 b1 b2 b3 so on up to b7 this byte will be transformed to column matrix see the point you need to understand here b0 b1 b2 this should be in the top b0 b1 b2 so on up to b7 this is how you have to write many of them with confusion they will write like this b0 b1 b2 so on b7 up no from top b0 b1 b2 up to b7 so once you find the inverse this inverse is converted to column matrix this column matrix is multiplied with a matrix called x this is a constant matrix x is a constant matrix you have to multiply with this matrix see here 8 by 8 matrix multiplied by 8 by 1 column matrix you are going to get a 8 by 1 means you are going to get a output as column this column is c0 c1 c2 we call it as c this equal to x multiplied by b you are going to get column matrix so this is just a normal matrix multiplication how we are going to do normal matrix multiplication take this row multiply with this column and add them up take this row multiply with this column and add them up take this row multiply with this column and add them up that is how we are doing matrix multiplication take this row means 1 multiplied by b0 addition 0 multiplied by b1 addition 0 multiplied by b2 addition z1 multiplied by b3 that is how we are going to do but the point you need to understand here multiplication we are going to do like a gf of 2 multiplication gf of 2 multiplication means a and operation <coughs> addition means gf of 2 addition means xor operation we are going to do 
once you do this you are going to get c0 c1 this column matrix now this column matrix will be added with this constant column matrix you are going to get a d d is our actual output now d is converted to again converted to byte d0 d1 d2 so on means d0 d1 d2 d3 so on up to d7 so one byte we converted to our substitution byte take the second byte do the process you will get the second byte take the third byte you will get the third byte so let's do it with an example let's take a byte as 0c take it in hexadecimal format 0c so first we need to identify multiplicative inverse of 0c using x8 this is reducible polynomial so first multiplicative inverse of 0c using gf of 2 power 8 so after converting this 0c the multiplicative inverse you are going to get b0 b means 11 1 0 1 1 means 11 0 0 0 0 means 0 so this is the byte we are going to get this is b0 b1 b2 so on up to b7 this should be written like here so after finding the inverse you got this after that multiply x by b so these two should be multiplied after multiplying these two you get c c is given as 1 double 0 1 1 1 0 1 you do the multiplication just matrix multiplication one or two lines you practice is practice it you are going to get the output so that you, you can leave the remaining so this is the output which you got this c is added with y this is a constant constant uh, column matrix this should two should be added here addition means xor operation gf of 2 addition you are going to get d so after x or c with y you are going to get uh, this one this is the output 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 0 means f e so in place of 0 c you are going to substitute f e this is how we do in encryption this is one byte you convert it into f e take the second byte convert take the third byte convert like this this program executes for 16 times So after that, the output will be go into the decryption side. During the decryption, we are doing exactly opposite. Remember in our first beginning classes, we clearly discussed about affine ciphers. Affine ciphers means first do the multiplication, then addition. This is same as affine ciphers. But here we are using matrix multiplication and matrix addition. So once during the decryption exactly opposite means here plus means minus. So that's why you do the output which we got here. We call it as D0, D1 so on. This D0 is taken as input to the decryption side. This should be minus. Minus operation in GF of 2 means same as XR. And we already discussed in the group uh, in addition. What is the inverse element for this? This one same, this is taken as inverse. Because XOR operation, these basics in GF of 2, what is the inverse? Same element is the inverse. Because we are doing XOR operation. Please go back and watch the GF of 2 and GF of 2 power 8 basics, which we discussed in our previous classes. <coughs> so that's why for this Y, Y inverse means same Y is the Y inverse of Y. So that's why same we are going to take. For x, you have to take the x inverse matrix. See, you multiply this exactly the output which you got here. If you multiply with x inverse, you are going to get b0, b1, b2, so on up to b7. These are the basics for the matrix multiplication. This is x, this is x inverse. x multiplied by x inverse, you are going to get identity matrix. So that's why this is going to be work here. This is exactly opposite. If you multiply with x inverse, you are going to get b0, b1, b. Here we have done multi x multiplied by b, b0, b, you are going to get c. Here x inverse multiplied by c, you are going to get b. 
So this B again converted to byte and again apply inverse. GF of 2 power 8 inverse. You are going to get the plain text again. This is also decryption works for 16 times. And one important point you need to understand here, it is providing non-linearity. See here, affine cipher, this is just linear application. Multiplication after that addition, exactly opposite, minus after that inverse multiplication. This is very simple to identify, but the thing here, non-linearity is provided using this GF of 2 power 8 inverse. Why it is providing non-linearity? Because we are inverse, we are finding inverse based on polynomial equations. x power 8, x power 7, x power 8, 6, 5. Those are non-linear equations. The inverse identified using non-linear equations. That's, that is how it is providing non-linearity. So it is very complex to crack. This is very, very important point to understand. Hope you understand how substitution byte works using GF of 2 power 8. If you have any questions regarding the concept, please post your questions in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates. Thank you.